Now we're learning more about the mass shooting at a protest at Normandale Park that killed one person and left several more injured. As social media flyers indicate, this happened at a march for racial justice and to remember Patrick Kimmins, who was killed in Portland, and Amir Locke, who was killed in Minneapolis. Liz Birch joins us live from Portland Police Bureau's Central Precinct. And Liz, what are you learning? Jenny, we're learning tonight. Police say one woman was killed. They say five other people were injured. Now, investigators tell us this started as a confrontation between an armed homeowner and armed protesters. I want to show you some video right now. This video is from that scene Saturday night. Police call the scene chaotic and say this investigation is complicated and intricate. They won't release suspect information at this point. One neighbor told me today what he says he heard Saturday night. All of a sudden, you hear nine shots, eight, nine shots. I can't keep track, but it was pop, 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 pop. And then you hear a small pause, and then you hear four louder shots. You believe you heard two different Absolutely. kinds of weapons? No, I heard two different guns go off. Not doubting that at all. Police say, quote, a number of witnesses were uncooperative with responding officers. Most people on scene left without talking to police and quote they're asking anyone who recorded what happened or has information to reach out to them please tell me today they will not be releasing the identity of the woman who's killed until that autopsy is complete live in downtown portland liz birch coin six news yeah, viewers have been asking us a lot of questions about this shooting uh, we are having a difficult time getting information about this shooting so we will bring it to you as soon as we do get it liz thank you